They play a vital role in our global environment and they're right in our backyard. So you've probably seen mangroves before but haven't taken much notice. But this plant life is essential on a world stage. Hi, I'm Dr Damien Ma, and I'm working with Southern Cross University to unveil their power. Step into my office and I'll show you how. Mangroves cover 11,000 kilometres of Australia's coast, but it's below the surface that their real work is getting done. And there's a couple of ways we can find that out. This is a floating chamber. It measures the gases fluxing in and out of the water. And these are air water equilibrators. From this, we can measure the concentrations of dissolved gases in the water, such as carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. The other way gets a little bit messy. I use sediment cores to determine how much carbon is locked up in the soil. Now back to the boat for analysis. Our gas analyzers and water quality sonds process results in real time. That means our boat is also our lab. It tells us about the greenhouse gases and water quality in our sediment and water samples. And we've discovered a unique capability of mangroves. Our research shows that mangroves take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, turn it into plant material and bury it in the soil. Then bacteria in the soil breaks down some of that plant material into alkalinity, which is released to the ocean. So why is this alkalinity so important? Because it helps balance pH levels in the ocean. Without it, the ocean would become too acidic. That's called ocean acidification, and it has dangerous consequences. Because ocean acidification poses a real threat to the life of coral reefs and phytoplankton. And if coral and phytoplankton start dying, all ocean organisms will suffer. So what's making the ocean so acidic? The most notable factor is carbon dioxide emissions. One third of our carbon dioxide emissions are absorbed by the oceans. This changes the chemistry of the ocean, making it more acidic. But mangroves are helping to offset this rise. Mangroves not only produce alkalinity to help balance ocean pH levels, but they're also a sink for nitrous oxide and carbon dioxide. They hold huge amounts of carbon in their soil and are one of the only ecosystems on Earth that absorb nitrous oxide. But we've recently discovered a worrying event. In the Gulf of Carpentaria, 10,000 hectares of mangroves have died. Climate change has led to decreased rainfall, rising temperatures and lower sea levels in the area. And when mangroves disappear, it has damaging effects on oceans worldwide. That's why our research is so important. We need to discover more about how mangroves are affected by climate change so we can manage the consequences. And protect our fragile aquatic ecosystems before it's too late.